All right, fam, we're going to be learning how to install Serato DJ Lite beta version 3.0 um, in this video. I had a lot of people um, reaching out, asking me, kind of saying like in the comments that their screen didn't look the same as my screen because I did my screen in Serato DJ Pro um, that is unlocked with my controller. So I have the full DJ Pro. Um, this video is just going to be about Serato DJ Lite um, installing the beta version for 3.0. So let's get into it. What's up, fam? My name is Andrew Lindley, representing the DJ Connect, um, and we're just going to get right right to it um, so I'm gonna put this link right here serato.com slash forum slash area slash 743 I'm gonna put that link in the uh, the comments for you guys you do need an account to get to this forum area but I think I'm pretty sure it's a for everyone you don't need anything special um, and so for Serato DJ Lite, we're gonna come right here um, sticky and compulsory discussions. I'd, I'd welcome you guys to read all of this if you want, but uh, if not, just come right here. Serato DJ Lite beta version. So this is for everyone. Um, and I'm going to see if there's a way to use this without having anything plugged in. Um, my controller isn't even here. So we're going to see if we can do this with nothing, um, nothing hooked up, no controller or anything. Once you get to this page, you're just going to go right down to the bottom. And if you have Windows or Mac, uh, you're just going to select which version that you have, which one you want. So I have Windows, uh, so I'm going to click this button here. Um, so if you're using Mac, and this is something I also learned, you are going to want, like if you don't have an M1 Mac, I probably wouldn't bother um, trying this. It's probably going to glitch out. Um, you're going to want one of the newer Macs. Um, and from what I know, you have to have the newest operating system. A buddy of mine actually reached out to me saying, Bro, I don't have the uh, the operating system to load this um, to load STEM feature, um, and from what I've seen, he did update to it and it is working, so he's good to go. But if you have an older Mac, like this is a disclaimer, I probably wouldn't worry about this beta version right now. For Windows, from what I know, it's good on almost everything. You're just gonna want to have a faster computer. All right, so some of the features that are available, you got this uh, Serato Stems. Um, basically, it's just telling you that you have the Stems feature. Separate your music into individual stems in real time. Uh, it sounds amazing, so I'm going to see what it looks like on DJ Lite, um, especially with no controller. Acapella and instrumental buttons. This is um, amazing. I didn't know this when I did my first video, but now I've since learned that there are acapella and instrumental buttons either beside the bpm key in the top like you have them here uh it's right in the middle you can hit one of the buttons or if you have um one of these i would assume it's for all these controllers as well you can hit the parameter button the arrows and that will do the same thing i haven't since tested that uh but i've learned that that works as well um but if you have um yeah so if you have all of those you're good to go um, next up, we got dynamic waveforms, instantly see Serato DJ's colored waveforms. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. I guess it's just telling you that like as it's separating like the drums and stuff, you're going to see that remove as well. So that's cool. Um, stems prepare crate. This is really important. This is where you're going to drop your music into, uh, and then it's going to analyze it all for you. Um, you don't, I would assume like for me, I will, I'm not going to have the, the analyze the song on load because that's when like the, your computer is going to be lagging. It's going to be using up all that information or, or it's going to use up like your bandwidth on your computer. Um, if you're going to analyze these beforehand, like drop your tracks into there and then all of them are ready to go. It's not going to lag your computer once you open them um that's a, an, an amazing feature that i didn't uh, see on my last video either so make sure you know that and then the stems performance pad mode uh this is where you could actually put the stems onto your performance pad so this is it, it's awesome uh and it works with the hercules dj control impulse uh the mix track platinum mix track pro 3 mix track pro fx these are all like pretty common um, controllers. The ones I see here, Rev1, SB2, SB3, some of the most common controllers. So you guys are good. It works with almost anything, all of the Serratos. So as long as you got any kind of controller like that, you're good to go. Uh, and the rest is just like, um, uh, like the MP3 decoder, kind of special like stuff that you don't need to worry about. Uh, and it looks like we're downloaded now. So we're going to hop over to that. Uh, you just click it. Um, for me, I would normally extract all of these into the folder, but for the sake of the video, you just click it and you're good to go. It's going to extract. Uh, and now it's extracted. You're good to go. Um, 
here is something you can do. Like if you don't want to overwrite your current version um, and you want to have like two separate loaders. So if you want to have like 3.0 loading and 2.6 loading is your real version, you can do that. Um, for me, like I'm not, I would never do that on my working computer on this computer. I don't care at all. I'll play anything, but on my working computer, I won't even like go to the website on it. Uh, I'm very like, I, I don't want any reason for it to crash. But if you just have one computer, this is an option for you to have both loaders. So that's a good option. Uh, install. Yeah, hit yes. All right, setup is successful. You're just going to hit close. Uh, and that should be it. Come to your desktop. Here's the icon. Double click it. All right, and here we go. Once again, another disclaimer, potentially unstable. Do not use in a performance or any live scenario. Like we've been seeing in, in the like the comments in the official Serato group that people are having crashes on their live computer because they're, they brought stems to the club. Like do not do that. Do not be that guy. Don't, don't ever like put this on your working computer. Like if you're going to the club tonight to play, do not install this. Like, I don't know how much clearer I can make this, but there's actually people out there who are doing this. They're going to the club with this and it's crashing on them and they're looking like an idiot. And that like, that could be your job. That could cost you your entire job. Uh, hopefully it doesn't, I'm not like saying that, but it, it could, right? Uh, what's new in 3.0 stems uh, and then just better, essentially just better sound. Uh, Newmark NSFX4 support and Rev1 support. Amazing. So here we are. Um, and yeah, it looked, yeah, we got stems here. So, oh, I do have Serato Play installed. So that's a good question here. Let me turn off Serato Play. Can I turn off Serato Play? Um, I'm going to have to come here, disable. All right, so I don't even know if I can turn Serato Play off. It doesn't look like there's an actual option for that, like in Serato um, DJ Pro. So I'm not too sure, like that is the, the app for it up here, Serato Play. I did turn it off, but I am still seeing um, this. Like hopefully this is still the same um, window that you guys see. Uh, and thankfully, if it is, uh, you do have stems right here. So this is where your stems would be on deck one. Uh, deck two is just the opposite side over here. Uh, you have your stems available and just like normal, we're going to play the same track here. Um, hopefully it has been analyzed. Uh, uh, it's looking like it, like as you, as you saw that the, um, the color delete, that's kind of what that is there. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, now I have nothing on, I'm going to slowly bring this track in. Add the melody. Ooh. A little bit thicker bass right there. Then we got the vocals coming in. <laughs> my bad, my bad. What, what a place to come back in. So from here, like you have all of your options, everything's kind of working. Um, the only next step that you would have to do is plug your controller in and then you would get the rest of the functionality. Um, and just to show you guys where you enable, um, so it doesn't look like I can, I have access to that option. It wouldn't be until I plug my controller in, but I would assume somewhere right around here on DJ preferences, um, I would assume probably right here in the middle, what's going to pop up is, is the option for you to change a performance pad mode to the one that you want to use. Um, yeah, uh, it looks like it's blacked out. Uh, no, you're not going to get any more options until you do plug your controller in. So definitely go get that in, let it get set up. Um, but if you don't ha even have a controller, this is where you can kind of come play with it. Hopefully this is available to everyone. I can't tell because I have Serato Play and I can't disable it at all. Um, but yeah, good luck Please. and let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video. Uh, and I guess... Yeah, drop a comment of like what you want further from here. Uh, and I can definitely make like a more in tune video for you because 
I don't see much of a difference. Like it's not gonna make a difference whether I use Serato DJ Pro or this, um, cause you have all the same options. Everything kind of looks the same. So I, I will probably continue to do it in Pro, but if you got more questions, just drop it in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.